Hi, I'm here to talk today about how to create a feminine morning ritual and how it actually looks a little bit different to perhaps the um, morning rituals you may have already practiced or heard about, the ones that are actually a little bit more uh, shared um, in the world of spiritual practices because a feminine ritual is really quite different to just the regular morning practice. And I want to share with you my journey of um, how my practices have really shifted since working with feminine energy much more and how I didn't even realize that I was practicing in a more masculine way, actually. So I'd done a lot of self-work. Um, I had done lots of different spiritual uh, learnings, practices, courses, and I was really in this time of my life feeling like so motivated to just um, practice daily, to be anchored into just expanding my awareness and my um, being awake in the world. And I had a beautiful partner at the time and he was um, just developing his own morning ritual. We were living together and, you know, he had some really great ideas and, and what to do. And I was extracting things from things I'd read as well. So I had this very intense and very complex morning ritual where I would wake up, go outside, get on my yoga mat. I would start with a meditation. Then I would do some breathing pranayama exercises. Then I would go through a list, um, a gratitude list. So 10 things I was grateful for. And then I would do a stretch. So like a deep yin style posture. Then I would do an asana practice. So a yoga practice. Um, then I would do some journal writing after the practice. And then there was often something else that came through. So that, that was pretty involved. It was quite long <laughs> morning ritual. So I'd get up very early to do that. Um, and I had noticed that what would happen was after some time, I would really just be like moving through the, moving through the, the whole morning practice that was a little bit more going through the motions. I was not as inspired when I woke up. I felt like sometimes, you know, I was going through my yoga practice and like my body didn't even want to move. Um, but I was really set in doing this. I was like, yes, discipline is key. Discipline is key. Let's do like, do just what we had set, what we had planned. Um, and when I couldn't do the practice, when I woke up late, when I was sick, when I was traveling in a different place, I felt really out of balance. And I felt like, oh, I haven't done my morning practice, so I'm not okay today. I felt this like hard energy if I couldn't do it. And I was just starting to notice more and more how it, it didn't feel aligned, but I didn't know how to what to do about that, you know, like, do I just create a new one or like, what is it that's not working? And I felt bad about myself. Like I mustn't be a good yogi, even though I was a yoga teacher at the time. Like what, what was going on? It wasn't until, um, after that relationship ended and I started to really deepen into my feminine, um, work and practices that I realized that I was taking my morning practice in a masculine way by having these structures and this set, um, this set plan and this organized way of doing it and this hard discipline, which is my masculine energy, which isn't bad. I need that. I use that when I work. It's, um, it's a beautiful energy to have, but it didn't allow me to anchor my feminine energy in at the start of the day and then draw from that power throughout the day. It didn't allow me to feel soft. It didn't allow me to feel free and connected to myself and my intuition. So I threw that practice out and I really created a new and I started to understand what feminine energy was. It was intuitive. It was flowing. It was open. It was receptive rather than um, penetrative. And so now my morning practice is very different. I wake up, I sage myself, I sit down outside, I draw a card from my oracle deck, um, and then I lie down and I put my hands on my womb. 
and I breathe and I feel life. I feel life around me, which means even if there's crazy loud sounds, even if the family next door is making, you know, like really loud sounds in the morning, um, very early in the morning, even if there's a dog barking, even if I feel really like crappy in my body, I just lay and feel and allow. I let life in. I hear what I hear. I feel what I feel outside and in my body. I feel my emotions and even notice my thoughts. And I surrender to it all. And it takes some time. Sometimes it takes a longer time. Sometimes I can do it straight away. But I allow myself to practice surrendering by just letting life be and myself be in exactly whatever is showing up that morning. And then I ask, what do I need? And then my mind says, do this, right? My mind will answer because it wants to latch onto certainty and have an idea and to go with it. But I notice that. I take my feminine nurturing to my masculine mind. And I keep asking, what do I need? And then my mind answers, go for a run. And then I ask, what do I need? And the mind answers, meditate. But I don't act on those answers yet. I keep asking, what do I need? What do I need? And there's a moment where my mind says something that isn't it trying to find the answer, but it's it expressing the answer. The feeling was the answer and the mind says that, it interprets that. And the answer will be something like, be still or move powerfully or move softly or right. And as soon as that is said, the voice sounds like mine. The mind voice sounds like mine, not what was happening before. The voice also creates, as soon as those words are said, another feeling in me. There's like this zhoom, alignment. There's an anchoring. There's a thum. That's it. The intuition is recognized. And then I do that. How long I do it for? I don't know. I just start doing it. And when it feels complete, it's complete. Know that the masculine is still there. Now, if I have to go and teach and, or I have a call or I have something happening, then I need, you know, the structure of the masculine to hold me in that practice. The structure of the masculine may be putting an alarm on to make sure that I'm not so carried away that I forget my responsibilities and what I need to do, whether that's for five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour. So it's different every day, but that is it. It's so simple. So people ask me, what is your morning ritual? I'm like, well, it's different every day. The ritual is to show up, greet myself and ask what I need. The only thing that is the discipline in that is to do that. There may be days where I don't even do that, where I wake up, roll around in bed and go back to sleep. And with that expectation of having to do the thing because I should, it feels so freeing and so inspired and so impactful for the rest of my day. So I share this with you, hoping that this lands and hoping you're inspired now to maybe start your day a little differently tomorrow. If you're more interested in diving into as well how you can bring this energy out throughout your whole day, your whole life, know that it can start from this practice And to deepen into this is the work that I do with women. So if you'd like to connect, reach out, then um, my website is at the end of this video. You can come onto my YouTube and subscribe. I'll always be sharing more videos. I share a lot on social media as well. I'd love to work with you. I work one-to-one with women. I work in online immersions and I also hold uh, immersive retreats. Please reach out if this is calling to you because this is my passion. This is why I feel like I'm here to serve you. Thank you. Talk to you soon.